Hey there Poké fans! I am WoboTuber and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be bringing you the best team for Pokemon Blazing Emerald, a GBA ROM hack by Straddle Muffin. And if you are watching this, Mr. Straddle Muffin, you are an absolute legend because this game has exclusive Hoenian forms, which means the Pokemon from Hoenn will be there along with Pokemon from other regions with superbly designed and professional sprites uh, with new moves, abilities and you can change outfits in this game which is also a very nifty feature. And it is almost the story is more or less the same in Emerald and I really love this game and I really recommend you try this game out. So let's get into the video without any further ado and I hope that you totally enjoy it. Alright, uh, my starter Pokemon is going to be Hoenian Bisharp. Now see, I'm not going to reveal any of the sprites in this game. For you to have a good look at it, you need to play the game itself. But I'm going to reveal the sprites for only my Bisharp. So here as you can see, this is a regular Bisharp and this is Hoenian Bisharp. And Hoenian Bisharp is a steel and fairy type which is a really fantastic typing to have. So now moving on to the movesets of Bisharp, I have Play Rough slash Iron Head and Knight's Vow. And as you can see, Knight's Vow is a new move introduced in this game. Knight's Vow, what it does is it raises special defense and defense by one stage each. Play Rough and um, Iron Head are for stab and slash is for making use of its high attack. So Bisharp was one of the most dependable Pokemon I had in this game and I think you will enjoy using it too. But there is a slight catch that Ponyard evolves at a very high level into Bisharp so you might need to train it up to a quite high level to actually get a Bisharp. Alright so the next Pokemon on my team is going to be Crobat, the normal Crobat. So, Crobat are quite easy to catch because Zubat are found literally in every cave. So, Crobat's moveset is going to be Brave Bird, Poison Fang, Hyper Fang, and Uter. So, um, Brave Bird and Poison Fang are for stab. U-turn is for effective pivoting and also for coverage against Psychic type Pokemon. And I didn't have anything for a fourth move. So I thought I'd toss in Hyper Fang in there because it deals quite a decent amount of damage. Crobat has excellent defenses and also is quite speedy so I think you should enjoy using one and I guess most of you have used one in any playthrough I guess. So I think this should be a good choice for your team. Alright so the third Pokemon on my team is going to be Hoenian Tentacruel which is a water and electric type and water and electric as you know is a really fantastic typing to have on my team in fact most of the Hoenn Pokemon have got really good typings so you can basically find Tentacruel just anywhere like with the original game and its moveset is going to be Liquidation, Bolt Blitz, Surf and um, I'll go with Return. Now, a Bolt Blitz is almost like Bolt Tickle, but the only difference is the name. So Surf, Liquidation and Bolt Blitz are for Stab, and I was a bit of a confusion for the fourth move. But since my friendship was high, I went with Return because it did a lot of damage. If you are not confident about the friendship, then you can just go on with Facade. Alright, so the next Pokemon on my team is going to be Hoenian Ursaring, which is a fire and normal type. And Hoenian Ursaring is one really strong and aggressive kind of Pokemon with a really high offensive stat, so I prefer using this as my elite Pokemon into the battle. So the moveset is going to be Overheat, Flare Blitz, Wild Roar, and Strength. Now I know I use two fire moves which are both um, har which both harm the user, but overheat is for its special tag and 
when an Arthur Ring is a physical attacker, so it shouldn't do much of uh, damage. And Wild Roar is a new attack, as you can see. So its base uh, um, base attack is 100, and it deals no additional effects. And as you can see, all of the moves are stab moves. So Hoenian Arthur is just built to destroy. The next Pokemon on my team is going to be Flygon, and as you might have known, Flygon is a very dependable Pokemon to be used on Hoenn playthroughs. And Flygon can also be very easily obtained by evolving Trap Pinch, which you can find in the desert. So, uh, Flygon's moveset is going to be um, Outrage, Dragon Dance, Fly, and Earthquake. Earthquake and Outrage are for stab, Dragon Dance is for just uh, boosting the stats and then sweeping through the opposition. And Fly is for added coverage against other types. Flygon is a really heavy Pokemon with a really good typing of Ground and Dragon, and that really comes in handy with the type combination of this team. So I really recommend you to use Flygon if you are playing this game or any other Hoenn ROM hack or any specific ROM. Now, if you look at my team, all I need to top it off with is a support Pokemon. And by Arceus Grace, I got the god of support Pokemon, which is Hoenian Shuckle. Yes, it's grass and rock type, not better than its bug and rock type, but I think I could do with that. It can be found in Route 120, so it's not that hard to get. So Shuckle's moveset is going to be Yawn, Lead Seed, Energy Ball, and Rock Tomb. Now, as you can see, Energy Ball and Rock Tomb are for, are for stab. Yawn is for putting the foe to sleep, and Lead Seed is for stabbing its energy every turn. This moveset has been designed in such a way that it can terrorize the opponent and also deal damage at the same time. And mind you, I didn't use Shuckle a bit in the Pokemon League. And moreover, I literally breezed through the Elite Four and the Champion with this team, with only one that uh, one feint, which is Tentacruel. If you are still watching this video, then you deserve a reward. So here is the picture of my full team. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like the video. And see you next time.